The main problem with Christian doctrine is first that it is unintelligible and irrational, and second, it is even non-biblical. Now, as Muslims, we believe that the final revelation, the Quran, has corrected the deviations that have infiltrated into Christianity, such as the divinity of Jesus, Trinity, and crucifixion. Now, there's a verse in the Bible that can be considered as the ultimate refutation of Jesus' divinity. That is in the book of John, chapter number 17, verse number 3. It reads, Now this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. So this is in clear English, of course, the English translation of the scriptures, that Jesus is not God. This indicates that Jesus is not God, because the only true God is God. And Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was sent by the only true God. So this verse makes it very clear that Jesus, peace be upon him, is not God, which is confirming the uh, Islamic beliefs about Jesus, that Jesus was a human messenger created miraculously from a virgin uh, woman, uh, Mary, Maryam, and that he is not God, he is not divine. In addition to many biblical verses in which Jesus, peace be upon him, denies divinity. We can discuss them and we can mention them. I have already mentioned them in a, another video, uh, Is Jesus God? that I have posted recently. And uh, it, uh, it comes with more details and more uh, biblical scriptures in which uh, Jesus, peace be upon him, denies his divinity. But this one verse is sufficient to show that the Bible itself does not endorse the Christian doctrine of Jesus' divinity. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide you all to Islam. May he keep our hearts firm on the truth. And uh, I hope that you may reflect upon that and consider to look for answers. And hopefully, if you are really sincere, you will find the answers and you will be truly guided, God willing, inshallah. Wassalamu alaikum.